A science fiction story of 50 years ago come true? No, it's not a robot from Mars sent to make a reconnaissance of this planet, but a strictly earthbound machine designed to take the backache out of mowing the lawn. This way, you don't even have to follow along behind. You just press the appropriate button and let the machine get on its radio-controlled way. The same control panel remotely operates sprays set at strategic points in the garden. These future trends, incidentally, are shown in the reputedly bohemian part of London, Chelsea. Another labour-saving device is pop-up sprinklers in the lawn. The electrically controlled greenhouse allows the gardener so much free time that he could almost adopt another career. As an electrician, perhaps. The various automatic controls govern the temperature, humidity and the intensity of the sunshine entering the greenhouse. The gardener merely trips the appropriate switch and pays the electricity bill each quarter. Within the greenhouse is another miniature one, known as a propagating case, which can be set at a temperature different to that prevailing in the greenhouse proper. Low voltage cables under the soil ensure that the plants don't get cold roots. The control of humidity is based on the evaporation rate of this ceramic block, which has the same evaporation rate as ordinary compost. When it gets too dry, it triggers off the fine sprays. When the sun gets too hot and is in danger of scorching some of the plants, thermostats come into play and, as you'll see, a curtain of cooling water, dyed green, forms a liquid curtain over the roof. These modern aids represent progress, but leave us with a comforting thought. One thing science can't do is to supply us with green fingers. Oh.